Um, this question is from Fishy from all the way back at the beginning of the stream. How does antenna element size affect performance? Some TrueRC antennas have very small elements. Does this make a difference? What about patches? Uh, Fishy, this is very difficult to say because, um, like, you can have... So, like, the size of an antenna first and foremost relates to the wavelength of the signal that it's tuned to. Low frequency, long wavelength antennas are always physically larger than higher frequency, uh, smaller wavelength antennas. So if you look at a 400 megahertz antenna, uh, they're typically quite large. And there are some things people do to get them down to a more reasonable size, but you have to make a lot of compromises and it's, it's a difficult engineering challenge. Um, so it's not that you can't make a low wavelength antenna smaller and perhaps some low frequency antennas are smaller than some higher frequency antennas, but in general, lower frequency, longer wavelength is going to be larger antennas. But let's assume you're talking about a single frequency, like 5.8 gigahertz, and those antenna. now you're comparing different size antennas within that frequency. Um, there are different antenna designs. So a helical antenna, let's bring up some pictures to help illustrate this. A helical antenna, for example, is generally going to be larger than a patch antenna. Of, of similar performance. Um, and the reason for that, here's a patch, it's a little, yeah, it's right hand polaris. The reason for that is that there are other differences in the way that they're constructed. For example, a helical antenna is relatively easy to build. Uh, and it's relatively easy to build a helical antenna at home with a jig and some wire. That's literally all you need. And you just use the jig to bend the wire into a precise spiral, and boom, you actually have a very high quality antenna. The flip side is that helical antennas are difficult to mass produce because some, usually a person, yes, probably a machine could do it, but usually a person has to bend the wire. And on the other hand, patch antennas are super easy to mass produce because they're just printed circuit boards and you can just crank them out. But patch antennas have, typically they have worse efficiency. And so you don't get it quite as good performance, but they're smaller and they're easier to produce. So there's all kinds of reasons why an antenna might be a different size and different performances. A small antenna can have good performance, but in general, a physically larger antenna is usually going to be easier to make have better performance. And so, so. But you can get very good quality small antennas. And TrueRC does make good antennas.